first two houses. And, you know, preserving the trees. Preserving at least some of the trees, yeah, mm -hmm. um, and the, everything else that lives back there. And um, also being respectful of the neighbors. Sure. And um, I think if you if you move those two houses, we'll have enough setbacks from the road. Will that do okay. it? Is that and it? I think I heard, but I'm not sure from the supervisors and from the audience, that <coughs> somehow you incorporate some sort of variety instead of 12 <coughs> homes in a row with 21-foot driveways. And big yawning garage. I mean, I mean, what do you think? Is that going to meet the market? Are you going to have maybe half of the people who buy homes want their little tiny lots and maybe another half wanting a little, something a little bigger? Or Not huge still, but... We, we can do some market research on okay. that and, and report back. I think I had mentioned a long time ago about not having them in a row, like stepping them back and, you know, moving them in and out. So it doesn't look like you're going through a barracks. I mentioned that a sure. long, long time ago, but it seems like nobody's made an effort to even keep wanting to do that. Well, would putting the space in the middle help facilitate something that look? If you had more, like a some space in the middle, would that, would that look? Well, good? if you take a couple out of the middle, you'd have to extend it out through that back a little bit. Mm -hmm. If that's where you want to go. And that's where I was saying here, if you see they're back to about here, mm -hmm. okay, if you just shave a little of this off, you could go back in here and put the, you know, put some houses around here maybe, and leave this all woods, leave a lot of woods down in here, you see? Yeah, I this think is all open back I think that's what here. Chuck suggested, if we can try to preserve yeah. as much of the Plus you're also there. reducing the amount of congestion that's going to take place. You're opening up a little bit of that center, which is sure. congruent with what this is. Uh, allowing for, as what you mentioned earlier, a lot top, top, top lot, what it's called, uh, for more kids. Well, to well at least a space for kids to throw a space for whatever they want to do with the grassy. Mm -hmm. area. They don't have to have equipment on it, but exactly. the kids want to have some place to go. Right. And, um, yeah. Now don't forget, they're still up on that bank up the top, so let's not bring that back up again because you're still up on that hill, okay? I'm just letting everybody know. Because it was a discussion here earlier about up on that hill and how much of an embankment will be down behind those houses. So, always remember that's still there. Not to bring up a source <laughs> subject, but he'll bring them back and everybody's going to say, well, you know, we got a steep bank back here behind the houses on Little Road. Okay. The man has been running back and forth here, so we're trying to pinpoint it now with him to give so him an idea. If you're going to come up with a compromise of some sort, you should, John, you should start working on that overlay so that we can see how it affects the remainder of the township because we, you're well aware, mm -hmm. and so are we, that we can't do a spot zone. Oh, yes, for you, so. I absolutely am. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, so what is your plan for that hill? Are you going to grade it? Those houses up on top of the hill? Yeah, we would, we would go in there and grade that. So as where's that mound of dirt going to go? Um, so our our goal would be to try and balance the site from it from an earthwork perspective. And as, as uh, Mr. Sachs mm -hmm. understands that, you know, when you cut a bank, you're going to fill another area. And so, um, you know, our roads in here need to be, uh, from a cross uh, slope perspective, uh, fairly flat, two yeah. percent. Um, and so perhaps what we cut out of one side gets filled on the other side. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your uh, input. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. Yeah. Can we take a two-minute break there?